Hey there. Hello, hello. I'm always so pink when we're live. That means you are alive when you're pink. Oh, I guess it's good then. I think it is. Very, very good. Hello, hello. everyone. Yeah. What's going on? It's Tuesday. We are back with our um, anything goes right on Tuesdays. We started it off as cup uh, as as baking bake along. Then we switched to cupcakes. Now it's kind of like anything goes. Hey guys. Hey Nadia, Janice, Jyoti. Hi. I mean, hello. at the end of the day, even if you are an avid cookie decorator. Eventually, you need to make other stuff, like, right? You have a birthday or something. Right. Exactly. So it's just some different stuff. And it helps for creativity to kind of try different things, too. Yes. You do have to do different things in order to keep um, is being inspired. So today, guys, I'm going to make some... Uh, we're headed to a really popular holiday season and Halloween. I know you don't want to hear it <laughs> because it's only August, <laughs> but um, we're going to force it on you. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Bonnie. So I'm going to be doing Halloween cupcakes. Again, this is something I haven't done before. Um, I, I try to do new things on Tuesday, something that, let's say, I wanted to do for a long time, but I always found an excuse why not to. So today I used my recipe to make the cupcakes and it's a recipe from my blog. It's super easy to use and it's a one bowl sponge cake. I'm putting the link in the comment section and I used it to make the cupcakes. And you can also use it to make a cake. And with that, I am using my um, Swiss buttercream recipe is also listed on the blog. And I'll show you the colors I'll be using. And it's all Swiss butter cream. I know I've mentioned it before that Swiss butter cream, it's super hard to color. But look at all these bright colors. And this is all done with um, gel food colors. I used Emery Color Brand and Chef Master combined. And so you're making Christmas cupcakes? No, this is uh, orange. This is cocoa. What are you talking about? You have Christmas in uh, on uh, October thirty first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not I'm I'm not yet, but we'll get there right after. Uh, we could start next week if you want. I'm gonna be making Christmas cupcakes, and then uh, <laughs> our viewers are gonna be shocked. All right, and I also made uh, brown. Okay, so all these lovely colors are made with food gels and uh, the, my technique that I use to color Swiss buttercream is also listed on the blog in a quick, um, um, quickly I'll just tell you. So what I do, I heat up, as I, I, uh, I add a small portion of buttercream into a bowl, like a silicone bowl or something like that, just a tiny bit. And then I, I load it with some food color, I stir it and then I'll see, I definitely can see that the color is not being taken by the buttercream. So then I put it in a microwave, five to eight seconds. And then um, because it's sweet buttercream and it has lots of butter, it will liquefy. Don't get scared. Just take it out of the microwave and add the solidified buttercream that you made and then whisk it really well. And you'll see how well the color is being you know, incorporated in the, the remaining buttercream. So that's how I created these colors. I'm gonna be using a bunch of different piping tips. Um, I'm gonna be using some round piping tips. This is a uh, where is my this is a fun tip I'll be using. This is a grass tip. Oh yes. Hey Camille, no worries. So this is a grass tip. I'm also going to use, and this is a basket weep. We've used it, I've used it last week on cupcakes, so I'm gonna be using it again. And uh, yeah, mainly I have round. I was going to use a leaf tip, but I decided not to. All right, so let's start with uh, the decorations. We'll oh, Han, did you um, have time to put a supply list together? Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm... No, no, I want you to guess. I guess that's a no. <laughs> 
I did not. I did not. I'm terrible. I am I am absolutely terrible. I'm going to try to be better. Um, I had a live yesterday uh, where I was decorating gingerbread house. So that's my uh, is this is this the the part? Yeah, this is the, these are the parts for the gingerbread house. If you missed it, you can rewatch it. The, the house looks awesome. If is I it completed? Know. It's a, almost completed. Yes, which I just have to. I bought candies today. You want? Are to you going to be able to not eat them until you actually need them? I bought four. Oh, okay. Four so, bags. Uh, just I so actually, we're clear. I feel like it, it, this is the first time ever where I made mess in a candy aisle because I was looking and I noticed that the the gummy fingers they are not evenly distributed in the packaging. Oh. So I had to like I went through all of them and uh, found the ones that had the most fingers. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, all right. So let's start with. Um, I'm gonna show you some cute things you can do to decorate your cupcakes. These are, can you guys see, these are six slots. Six slots? Six, uh, six slots? Yes, yeah, I think they're yeah. awesome. They so these are, are basically chocolate candies. I don't know if you guys know. Uh, these are available in a whole different assortment of colors. Look at these pastel mm. colors. Um, they taste really good. They are not hard on your teeth. They also come in a smaller version, right? Like they also have them. But smaller. those are softer. Those I think those are softer because that's chocolate inside. The, what do you mean, the smaller ones? The smaller mm -hmm. ones are candy, I think, and those are the ones with. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I did not know that. All right. So these are, I guess, larger six. Like these are um, chocolate. They are really, you know, not hard on your teeth and really easy to use for uh, all sorts of decorating. So um, I'm going to use them to make the eyes. All right. So I'm starting with this is a food doodler edible marker. I'm using this one because I rarely use these and I feel like they're going to dry out on me if I don't give them some love. <laughs> so I'm going to use them to obviously wash your hands really well um, to make the veins. It's all about the details. Sorry, my fingers are all black because <laughs> I'm going with the theme of Halloween, okay? So you just want to do, I don't know if you can see. I'm doing Do you find that that smudges off if you touch it? Like I'm just looking. Yeah, if you, if you are, yeah, if you are very aggressively touching it, yes, it will smudge off, yes. But I'm going to try to be very gentle with it. Okay. All right, so that's with the red marker, and now you come in with black, and you just make the creepy eyes. Creepy eye, and I'm going to then put it in my little thing. I'm also going to need some. I actually do have to uh, make these make these with you guys because I don't have. I need them for for the cupcake. So let's see another one. They actually make black sixlets, and the sixlets are less prone to bleeding. I've been getting messages from some of you saying what to do with the black pearls bleeding. Oh, really? Sixlets that they, I wonder if it's a different type of. I think the shellac is different on them. Maybe it's from a different insect? Perhaps. <laughs> All right, and then uh, you can also the green ones. So I've got some green ones here already. So I'm not gonna do that again. All right. So that's the first step. Now we are also going to use some marshmallows, and I've got some giant marshmallows here. Giant. I mean, these are regular size. Oh, can you see? So here they are. Here is one giant marshmallow. I'm gonna put it on a skewer so it's easier to show you. Okay, and again, with edible marker, you can draw on these. Who is really famous for drawing on marshmallows is the decorated cookie. Megan, she has, her blog is, I think, devoted to marshmallow crafts, and she paints on them and draws on them, so you can also check out the blog. And I'm just going to do, um, what we're going to do, I had to check what I was, what I did before. You can do a ghost. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna do one ghost. I'm intrigued now. I wonder if uh, we could airbrush a face on a on a marshmallow. With a miniature stencil, you could do anything, darling. Yes. <laughs> you could definitely do anything. Okay. That took me what, like two seconds? Hey, LA Toot. Are you in LA? No, the, the eyeballs are very soft to eat. I mean, I could demonstrate. I will demonstrate later. There are six slits. You can look them up. They're little chocolates. They're not candies. Um, I, I do. I'm going to be doing some cutting with a knife. So I'll show you uh, if I can manage to do it without cutting my hand. I'll show you how soft they are by cutting. All right, so let's do another one. And the marker I'm using, this is a, another brand that I really like using. However, they don't come in different colors. They only make black. But you can buy them in a set, I think, in two or fours even. Okay. So I'm going to do, and this is going to be, um, oops, weird eye. I found it's not the easiest to draw on these, but so I mean, it's, it's going to be forgiving. Do you yeah, know the monsters that? don't have to be perfect. Who is this? Is it Jack? Jack? Yes. It's almost that time. Okay. So this is very difficult. <laughs> very difficult. All right, so that's another decoration. And my other decoration, it's super yummy also. And um, never mind my, uh, this is just cookie leftover from yesterday when I was doing some work on my gingerbread house. So I'm gonna be using some wafer cookies to make. I'm gonna trim it because it's quite long. So, you guys are watching. You guys are watching from all over in the world. Do, does everybody celebrate Halloween in your neck of the woods? Tell us in the comments if you guys celebrate Halloween. Yes, and how do you celebrate? What do you do? Do you dress up? Do you go uh, trick-or-treating? Do you get candy? Do you, I don't know. What do you do? Here in Spain, I, uh, I had a wonderful Halloween last year. Your right. second, you're starting your second round of holidays now. You've been there officially a year. Yes. So you can use any, like, cookies. Um, Really uh, great would be used to Mila Milano, Milano cookies, are they? The, you know, the, the sandwich cookies. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Those would be really nice to use for, because this is going to be, um, you know what this is going to be? A casket? It could be. It's, um, uh, what's it called? The cemetery, the... A tombstone. Yes. Okay. So you can do that. Now I'm going to quickly decorate it. Let's do two. No, should we do two? Uh, it depends how many cupcakes you have. All right. And to decorate, just bring that in. I'm going to use black buttercream. And I'm just going to outline it. And I've got some lovely Halloween sprinkles here. Hey, Joseph, you see these are built on. Yes, those are great. Quite nice. <laughs> I gave up as well, Rachel. No kids come to my house, so I buy my candy the day after Halloween at half off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here I think nobody's going to know, but yeah. Trick or treating is no, I don't think trick or treating is popular here. He hides in the house, turns off the lights. And then put in these lovely. What I'm using is a coffee filter to hold my sprinkles. Hi, Joseph. 
Okay. And now we can use the same black. Oh, I like that. Oh, thank you. Very, very festive. Very festive. How about we dish? Yes. All right. Now, if at any point your buttercream gets too soft on you, all you do is you stick it. Holy moly, 125 kids. Do you, uh, how do you count them? Do you have them to <laughs> go through in front of your house? You have the, you know, the, what's it called, the meter? <laughs> well, well, I, they prepare, usually the, the big Halloween fans prepare little bags for the kids. So they count them, I, I think, based on, you know, how many they prepare. And then they have to turn off the lights when they run out of candy. Wow, 125. I'm, I'm curious, uh, in a couple months, you'll tell us how, how many kids you had this year. So that's the tombstone. And I'm going to set this aside, okay? So that's the third decoration. And now onto the cupcakes. I believe that's all for my decorations, right? Yes. Okay. Already. Okay, let me just move the camera a little bit. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm so glad so many people love that recipe. Okay. You got new cupcake liners. These are uh, from Spain. These are, and I'll show you, these are not as tall as the ones from... Oh, yes. They're minis. They're, they're a little smaller. smaller. Significantly smaller. Okay. Or diet cupcakes. But, <laughs> yeah, well, if you put like a cup of frosting on it, they are definitely a diet cupcakes. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm looking for my handy spatula. Where is my handy spatula? Oh, is it a spatula? And by spatula, I meant the palette knife. So I'm just going to spread a thin layer. What I like about this um, project is that it doesn't, yes, it uses different colors of buttercream, but the cupcakes are not, I feel like they're not overloaded with buttercream. Okay, now we're gonna pop those eyes in. Already creepy. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm going to swap uh, my piping tip for the, you see I'm using, this is a basket weave, it's a flat tip. It's not necessary that you have the, the teeth on your piping tip. Some of the teeth, they also come without it. And I think you could also get away if you don't have, because this is not a standard tip that everybody has at house, in your home. So you could also, I think, get away with using the pedal tip. I haven't tried it, but I think you could probably get away with using just that. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I could go to Target. <laughs> We don't have Target either. Is, is you don't? Oh, they closed, no? It didn't do well in Canada, and they went bankrupt here. Oh, so they still say they went bankrupt. Maybe they will come back? Mm, I don't think so. There is really no wrong right here. I'm just gonna go for it. And he actually has a flower. That's very uh, unplanned. All right, so there you have a little mummy cupcake that took, what, five seconds? 
Awesome. There is not a lot of buttercream on that. All right. Let me put this here. And now another cupcake we're going to do is with the tombstone. And that's going to be, oh, I didn't show you. So I actually prepared um, cookie dirt from Oreos. This is how Oreos are packaged here. Oh. You can get them in a family size, but the family size is packed with, uh, this is a package of four. So they're packaged individually like this. So what I did, I take, I took a couple of these packages and I crushed the Oreos with a rolling pin to make the dirt. And now I'm going to use brown buttercream. On this one, I'm going to use slightly more buttercream. And then uh, it doesn't really matter that my spatula is, um, you know, white buttercream because it's actually going to be helpful. I'm not going to wipe it off. And this is a living project because you don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. That was your phone, I guess. It made a weird sound. <laughs> I always have it on mute and then I forgot. So yes, that was my phone. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to bring my dirt in because it's on a coffee filter, but I, I, I made a lot of dirt, like I'm going to cover it for many off. projects. <laughs> so what do you do? You take your little cupcake and you just, well, you can see I, I didn't manage to uh, make it super fine. So I do have like chunks of cookies in there, which I think at the end is not a bad, bad thing. So it's kind of like cookies and cream. Hey, June. All right, so you just want to like press the cookie crumbs into your buttercream. And the buttercream at this point, it needs to be soft for the crumbs, cookie crumbs to, to stick to it, okay? I'm going to set it. All right. All right, so uh, we've got that. Now I'm going to take my sign. Let's see, it's still a little too big. I'm just going to trim it. Joseph wants to know what you'd buy if you could go to Target. Oh, what I buy? Oh, no. I would. <laughs> I, I love the, their bargain, <laughs> bargain aisle because I'm always looking for packaging ideas and things like that. And obviously, baking aisle. Love the home decor, also some clothes, everything. What's not to love? But I love the seasonal stuff, you know, the seasonal stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Now I'm going to make a little slit in my buttercream. This is a very um, light cookie, so I'm not really worried that it's going to um, fall over. Okay, oops, I messed up my R. I well, it's it. tough to handle it, eh, once it's... Um... Well, I think ideally you want to maybe chill it. So, Han, can you zoom out a little bit so that we could get a little bit more? Yeah, perfect. Yes. All right, so now to, to give it a little support, I'm going to use my um, grass tip. So I've got this lovely green. This is a green that I mixed with leaf green and I added a little bit of uh, yellow. So let's start on the back. When you're making the grass, it's important that the icing is Um, not so, too soft. Do you find that it doesn't stick to the Oreo coating there, or does it? Does it? No, it didn't really affect it at all. It was fine. Now, if you have some, and I think you would, if if I was at your house, I would go into your cupcake stash and get some little bones, because you have candy bones. So you could put candy bones in there. 
for a cute um first oh, yeah, we could try that that's a good idea let me see i've got i don't have a toothpick here and gummy worms would work as well that'd be cute gummy worms yeah why not oh yeah oh yeah yeah that's true gummy worms would work um i don't think i have a toothpick here but i just messed up my other cupcake all right so let's fix that but yes, you could you could actually put because the, the inside of the cookie is a soft it has a soft filling. You see, so depending on what kind of a cookie you're using, I think you could uh, stick in the toothpick. Let me just quickly see. I have a scribe, so I'm just gonna see if we can do it with a scribe. And if you can do it with a scribe, you can do it with a toothpick. Yeah. Yeah. So you could exactly you could put it put a toothpick in and then stick it in there. Great idea. Let, um, let the people know that are you know what I mean like. Um, oh yeah, that the toothpick is in there. Yes. Yeah, but it's a good idea, especially if you are if you are maybe uh, uh, taking these somewhere, if you're transporting them somewhere. Okay, so that's uh, the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do another cupcake. And this is going to be, what are, what are we doing? We're doing a um, pumpkin, okay? The pumpkin, uh, Jack o' Lantern. Um, so for the pumpkin, I'm using, this is a tip. Oh, I don't know if this is the correct number, 12. I think it is actually, yes. So it's a large round tip. I'm starting at the very top. Okay, so you've got yourself a little uh, hook in there. And now, again, I'm going to be using black to make the eyes and the mouth. Now, if you're not a big fan of black, you can use brown instead, you know, no harm in that. You could even use chocolate buttercream instead of vanilla, vanilla that is colored with black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't like to use a lot of food color. Okay. The nose has the point, uh, point down, right? Um, I've usually done it going up. It's just, I mean, there's no uh, right or wrong with it. Okay. That yes. looks right to me. Yes, okay. So now I'm going to use, again, the green, but I'm uh, adding a smaller tip, smaller round tip, smaller round tip. And this is a number, these are both number two. I would suggest using number three. I find it would come out nicer, but I don't have. Is this number? Oh, I actually have number number three here. Was I going to use it for something? Oh, you guys watch us, and you don't. You haven't quite yet attempted any of these projects. You're looking, and you're like, "Oh, it looks like fun." I mean, Halloween is the perfect occasion to start this adventure because if it's not perfect, you just say that it was on purpose <laughs> to make it look scary. And, and most of the time these desserts are served in the dark. So it's the perfect time for you to start cupcake or cookie decorating, make some Halloween treats, and then you can uh, practice and, and you'll be a little bit better for Thanksgiving and Christmas, right? Yes, so you just made, I just made like a squiggly line at the top Hello to Zurich. Hey, Karen. The house is looking amazing. Okay, so that's the third cupcake. Now we are on to number four. And now we're going to make, um, oh yeah, we didn't, we didn't do the uh, man. All right, so I'm going to do another. So did you practice all these before or you just kind of drew them out? I made them right before we went live. <laughs> Because <laughs> I really like, I don't, I, like I said, I have never done Halloween cupcakes before. So I wanted oh, to. your first time. 
this is the very first time so i was like okay let me just do some you know prep work mm -hmm. so instead of swapping out my piping tip i'm just going to use my flat um, basket weave to pipe some buttercream on here and then we can spread it It doesn't have to be super smooth. Like I'm not really concerned about that at all. You're out of frame. Oops. But I do find that using a small um, uh, palette knife plane like this, it really does help. All right. Oh, Kim, while well, we're wishing your husband well there, let's hope it's not serious. Recovery. She did a mummy just before Rebecca. I'm gonna do another mummy just for you. A different version? Different version with, I don't know. What kind of a different version do we have from for mummy? Let me just bring this up so I, I know what I'm doing. All right. Let's start with the mouth. So we have our bearings. Oh, you're making uh well, it's a dead kind, isn't it? <laughs> I need to make that. What's her name, Sally? Yes, Sally. I need to make her as well. You can watch the replay. Hands on her fourth, I think, design, or is it the fifth? One, two. This is the fifth. I'll do some of them if we have time, but we are, um, I don't want to go too long. That's, that's painful. Let's hope he heals quickly. All right. So there is your Jack. He's very popular. He's very popular, but he needs his bride. So I'm going to try to, oh, back surgery. Ooh, that sounds very painful. All right. So now we are on to the number six. Right, and number six, oh yes, number six is, is also very cute. We're going to use some of those eyes we made earlier. And again, number three, number, uh, number, uh, lovely green. I'm just swapping out my piping tip for a larger tip. And that's why it's worth it to pick up couplers. The couplers are a little, like they're really not an expensive gadget and they make switching out the piping tip on your piping bags um, yeah. easy. If, if you don't have a coupler, then you have to kind of squeeze out all the icing to switch out the piping tip, which is, a, yeah. that is a total pain in the butt. And again, those of you who are just joining in, you can find a recipe for my Swiss buttercream. And also I use my one bowl sponge cake to make the cupcakes. And now I'm going to use black. To make There's Anne's uh, blog address. If you want to go check out and find her recipes, it's there. If you guys are enjoying the live today, hit the like button. It helps our... Uh, the algorithm. And if you'd like to support us, you can always do so by buying us coffee at our coffee shops. I'm going to add some fuzz to the hair. I can't, I couldn't find, the, are, are there black jimmies? Yes, there is. I have some. There are? Okay. I did not know because I only had brown and it, it looked like weird with brown. So I'm using, this is like a Sanding sugar? Coarse sanding sugar. Okay. Now I'm going to use the eyeballs I made with six slots, from six slots. I'm going to pick up the white ones. And let's get on. No cake pops. I've never made a cake pop ever. I have made cake pops. Um, if they are done right, they they are actually pretty tasty. I don't, but it's not something I make off like I would make often. Those eyes are creepy. 
Tastiest eye, tastiest eyes you'll ever eat. Yes. I don't know what you're talking about, Cynthia, but I'm glad you found it. <laughs> okay, so here's your really a little bit of, oh, yes, uh, I need some help here. Oh, a pretzel stick? Yes, I need help. You need help? About this before I was asking you. Oh, the bolts? Yes, the bolts. <laughs> All right, so to cut this, uh, you can, I think I can get away by using the, I don't, I have no idea. I could just use my hand, right? Sure. Maybe stick it in. Oh, they kind of um, are falling apart. All right, so do I stick them in here? In here? Sometimes I see Frankenstein's bolts in his neck and other times they're in his forehead. So I think for your project. Does he need the bolts? I think they might. Well, I mean, it's a, uh, yeah, they are June sixlets. She colored them. Um, I mean, you can experiment. It doesn't matter. Do you want them? <laughs> Do you guys want bolts? Do you want <laughs> bolts in the head? It's all in your hand. This you guys decision. <laughs> so, do I put the? Okay, Nadia says yes. Put the bolts. Okay, so put the bolts. Just stick them in. All right, I'm, I'm going for it like that. That looks all right. Like if you that. had candy melts, I guess you could like dip them and, and um, make them silver or something if you were fanatical about the everything looking exactly, you know. Okay, so um, I'm just going to clean this up and then I'll show you all the cupcakes I did today. And then you can tell me which one is your favorite. Which is the, the winner. Okay. So here is the mummy that I had to fix because I put the, I stick my fighting bag in it. Now we've got the Jack. Oh no, this is the Jack. This is the Jack. This is the Jack I did today. All right. This. It up. Very nice. And where is my? Uh, I said we did six cupcakes. Where is the? Oh, we didn't do six. Oh. <laughs> We're in the class, are we? Okay. I'm not gonna mention this to my math teacher. All right. So we just did five. I'm like looking and I can't find the six. Cupcakes. Yeah. What are you doing with the marshmallows? Oh, that's for the six cupcake. Oh. <laughs> good, uh, good catch, uh, Cynthia. All right, so for this one, I'm going to do purple. Um, at Target, you'll find the supplies. I don't know. Maybe they sell decorated cupcakes at Target. We don't. We don't know. <laughs> decorated cupcakes. You mean is, if? If it has a bakery, right? Yeah, I don't know what's at Target. I haven't been to Target in a very long time. All right. So again, a small amount of buttercream. I'm just going to smooth it somewhat. And Halloween wouldn't be Halloween without a spider web. Now, this is a pretty firm buttercream um, to do any kind of like wet on wet we do with real icing. So I wasn't sure if the spider web is going to work, but it did. It actually did have a look of a spider web. So I'm going to go for it. The only thing I have to do, I have to swap out my my um, piping tip on my white bag for a small round piping tip. All right. So this is the similar technique to the um, cookies. Yes, absolutely. So now I'm going to use, this is my scribe tool that I use for cookie decorating. And I'm just going to
Okay. And now for the for these guys. So, um, the idea is to stick it in, but you can see my screwer is quite long, so I'm going to trim it. You're out of frame. Oh, sorry. So there. And now we have six cupcakes. Okay. Very good. Wow. Yay. Lots of treats. One, two. <laughs> now let us know which one do you guys like the best? Why do you like it best? And why do you not like the others? <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell us everything. Tell us everything. All right, so we've got six cupcakes here. Got to vote for the tombstone from Rebecca. Awesome. That is my favorite as well, I think. It just, it's so fun. Oh, I, I'm uh, partial to the pumpkin. Orange is just so Halloween. Yeah, it is. I, I, I have a lot of uh, white here. I'm glad I, uh, I also chose the purple because it kind of breaks the colors a little bit. All right. Kim also likes the tombstone. The mummy, Verdana, creepy ghost, pumpkin. I think it's uh, that you've got something for everyone there. Yes. Everybody's kind of saying a different thing. So that's, you, you know, sometimes everybody likes the same thing. No, the chocolate, it will be the, it has chocolate uh, Oreo cookies. All right, so uh, now it's uh, actually Marlene's turn to show us. Uh, um. So today, um, you know, I think you guys will empathize with me. We all have crazy weeks. And this week I was going to do Halloween, but this week is my, and I don't see that, say this in any kind of uh, joking way, my darling husband's birthday. And, and um, so, yeah, so I'm going to, and again, I'm sure some of you will empathize with me. Sometimes we just don't have a lot of time and we still want to make a cake for our loved one. <laughs> so I don't know if you're aware, uh, this is, I think, um, Al uh, Alcan or they make, this is an aluminum like decorative. You can see the blue there and they sell them in packages of three. This is available at Walmart and it comes with a lid. And you can bake your cake in advance and freeze it, and then you can easily decorate it. You don't have to worry about torting, you know? What is it? Is this a carrot cake? It is a carrot cake. His favorite. I would love some carrot cake myself. <laughs> and so, uh, if you guys know anything about cake decorating, torting is when you have to slice the cake. That can be quite, you know, like if you're not that skilled at cake decorating. But for example, if you use cake mix, cake mix can be very soft, the cake. This way you don't have to worry, it's all in there. You can, I think you can get two of them and freeze them and then you even have a two for one. You can pull them out of the freezer and have a, a dessert for any given night. But they this travel way, well as well, they travel. Yes, yes well. exactly. You put it, if you need to be, if it needs to be refrigerated, you just put it in a cooler, right? Exactly. Exactly. And so it's deck, it's cute. And then you can have it and I'm going to pull it out and he's going to be thrilled. And then my second uh, half of the batch went in on cupcakes so that I can freeze them. And like, that's his thing at night. He has a cup of coffee and a little dessert. He's always asking me, what can I have? What can I have? <laughs> <laughs> they all do, huh? That's it. Do we have anything? No, they could, they had my, I, I had, I get a question. Do we have anything? <laughs> do what do we have anything that's my question that's oh do we have anything like well right <laughs> now i have i have carrot cake that's awesome and so um we do cheese uh cream cheese frosting on our carrot cake at my house some people don't like it they find it's maybe a little sour tasting i've always liked it right oh see they're making a huge comeback. Well, the thing is, is you can do the surface decorating so fast with a piping tip. So here is the cream cheese frosting. I do a third butter, a third cream cheese, and a third margarine. 
And then I just add vanilla and my powdered sugar. So that's the only kind of thing. And so here is a 1M. Did you say something? No, I'm just, uh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm quiet as. Okay. I'm just going to, oh, here's a plate. Mouse. I'm quiet as a church mouse. So my icing was a little bit soft before I had put it in the fridge. So I'm just going to do a bunch of swirls on the cake. And this is probably one of the easiest, if you're not a, a super skilled cake decorator and you're still like just starting out, the swirls are like super easy. And you can just go around the cake. And add as high as you want. You know, some people like a little bit there and now i'm going to grab my other color i actually colored some of my icing with a mauve by americolor oh my god it was so ugly with what oh, don't use that with and so this this is um wedge did you say with what did you color it with it's called mauve and it was the Co ugliest color, color. Oh, yeah the color oh it was i don't even know what that is i mean it's terrible. so this is wedgewood this one. That's nice. I'm just randomly going all over the cake. And you can see this is super fast and very forgiving. You don't have to be a master cake decorator to do this. And so I added electric pink to try to save my ugly mauve icing because it was really gnarly. It looked brown almost. It was really not nice. So well, now I'm just filling in the gaps with this smaller piping tip. And then I'll be able to just pop it. So the cake is actually frozen and I'll be able to put it back in the freezer and pull it out on Thursday when it's his actual birthday. So I'm not totally in love with this color palette, but I didn't want to throw away my cream cheese icing because the color. Yeah, I like it. It's very, uh, for whatever reason, I, I feel beachy looking at it. I feel like the pink, um, it's like corals and, you know, it's very nice. Yeah, it was. It's coincidentally made a one, two, three, four, a pentagon. There, I had a little hole. So to that, oh, I've got buttercream on my hand. So to that, you can add um, some sprinkles. I've got here some little confetti kind of birthday-ish type looking things. I didn't really have anything that matched these colors because this purple was not the plan. I was I like looking. It. It's, it's pretty. I don't know why you don't, you, you need to stop saying that. Oh, yeah. Well, so yeah. now it's the, 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 the like it would be faded. Like now it's like hot. Oh yeah, she, well, Wilton, uh, it's Americolor uh, Amber Mine and it it's not nice. Anyway, so that's it now. The cake is frozen. I just decorated it and I'm gonna pop it back in the freezer and it'll be like super fast to pull out on the day of. So now we can do some quick cupcakes with and these thaw out really fast. How long do you think it would last in the fridge, in the freezer? Oh, in that container, not that long because it's not really airtight. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to put it in something else, I think. Maybe wrap it if, if, if it's like a food wrap or something? Yeah, maybe something. 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 So here you can do, you know, those multicolored things now everybody's doing. Those kind of cupcakes with like just a bunch of random swirls. It just gives you occasion to try out all those piping tips that we amass. We buy everything and end up using maybe a third of it. Yes. Right? This might be my lunch, actually. 
today in a in a supermarket i was so tempted to buy they actually were selling a carrot cake a mix oh yeah yeah i was going to but then i turned it over and um, was asking me to grate carrots so i was like okay oh <laughs> I, don't I, I had i had ryan my son do the carrots yeah do you, do you do them uh, um coarse or fine they were fine fine yeah so you can see i'm just doing random all over and oh, like yeah judy says yeah just slide the yeah exactly slide the container into a large ziploc bag that would work for the freezer yeah absolutely and like i say you get to try out all your piping tips i love the wedgewood it's probably one of my favorite you also colors. use this food wrap so depending on what you have what you have on hand you can use um either of those I don't have wedgewood tray from a um, bottle, good quality. Uh -huh. So you saw it. This. Diana says that the sprinkles would be nice. There. So let's just. So you see how fast I decorated a cake. I like it. I decorated a whole cake and and the cupcakes in like ten minutes or something. And then like, how do you cut the cake? So you cut the cake inside, right? You cut it yeah. and then... You yeah, you don't it. take it out or else it, you know, it, it, um, it, it like, uh, get your hand's going to get in the icing and stuff. So the sprinkles on cupcakes, there's a lot of stuff on the market nowadays, and it's really um, not always teeth friendly. So you want to factor that in when you're shopping for your sprinkles. I know sometimes... It's tempting, they're very pretty, but this is a very soft cake, a carrot cake, so you bite into this nice moist thing and then you hit a piece of concrete. It's not that um, pleasant to eat, in my opinion, but if you're you know, willing to sacrifice your... I think it's just the, the, you know, the, how the screen um, registers the colors. Um, yeah, it's kind um, of a bluish, a bluish gray wedgewood. It's my favorite color to use when I'm going to paint in silver. It makes a great base. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I just loaded, well, I had put it in my group, my latest uh, video. It's the Cardinal gift set. So that's in my paid groups, but you can also buy it on um, coffee. And then last week's Halloween candy corn cookie templates. So you can either decorate with real icing or you can uh, use the shields to airbrush. That was last week's project. So if you want to check that out on Patreon, on um, yeah, Patreon or in coffee. So that's it. That was that fast. And now the pressure's off. His cake is made. <sighs> I can look like the loving wife that's dedicated to my husband. You can look like you are. <laughs> you can look like you are. And then, uh, guys, um, if you are new to our uh, live stream, so we also go live on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, correct? Um, on Friday. And we're going to be decorating this week, and I'm... I think I'm going to be decorating Halloween cookies. Thanks, Azara. That's what I'm going to do as well. I cut up a bunch um, yesterday, actually. So yes, we'll. And I'm going to uh, um, um, tomorrow. I'm going live again, guys, at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be finishing up the gingerbread house. Um, and you can rewatch all the lives. Yes, that's a good suggestion. Dry fruit. Or even like a nice high-end chocolate. You know, you can get some gorgeous, gorgeous chocolates or make them with candy melts. Thank you, Camille. Oops. Oh. Oh, she's got her photos for... Um, photos for us. It's going to be super fun. Awesome. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Here, let me remove this. Let's so we should probably, you want to, I can't really hold all of these. We, we ask you oh, to take three Yes, yeah, pick here. one. We're going to do our, our screenshot. Well, I think the orange, the, the, this is going to look the best on, uh, 
Oh, I can actually do two. Okay, so I'll do orange. I'll do these. These I'll guys. turn it to the pink. Okay, the, so it's a screenshot time. <laughs> so, so we, we are clear on that, and you guys are taking a screenshot and, to, and uh, sending it to us. Hey, Amber, help! help. <laughs> Cheese. We're not necessarily right. skipping Halloween, Karen. Uh, maybe I'll do fall. It's just um, I kind of um, group them together, kind of, I guess, in my mind. Oh, maybe I'll, well, yeah, that's well. I do have my, um, I'll see, I'll see. I might do something fall, but um, I need to prep something for Halloween right now. Yes, me too. I'm, I'm totally craving carrot cake now. Do you add the nuts or anything to your carrot cake? No, it's just... Um, what happened when I found the recipe, Jamie was my husband. Would That was his cake that he'd always bring into the office. And so with all the nut allergies and different things, it was just more prudent to not, to keep it as simple as possible, right? Okay, so you don't, yeah. No. Yeah, actually, I like it all, like, both ways, but I prefer maybe without nuts. I feel like the flavor really, like, I get the the you know, carrot, to taste carrot cake. Yes. All right, guys. So again, you can support us in uh, um, our coffee shop. We have templates and recipes there. So you can just buy us coffee. It helps us uh, to fund the fund. Um, help me out here. <laughs> but it just helps so us, you know, with our you know, we get the supplies and continue doing the live streams. All right, guys. Hi, everybody. Thank you so have a good day. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye.